I had a patient with a tricky rotator cuff problem that just wouldn't get better no matter what we tried. But then one day we tried an unusual shoulder exercise and suddenly his pain started to turn a corner. In today's video, I'm gonna reveal what that exercise is, so hopefully you can give it a try at home. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And I've helped thousands of over 50s to improve their mobility and their strength and overcome painful problems. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to overcome shoulder pain with one unusual shoulder exercise. Now the exercise we used was the lying horizontal raise and it looks something like this. Now this is a fabulous exercise because it works a number of different muscles around the shoulder, including many of your little rotator cuff muscles. And your rotator cuff is a group of four very small muscles that live around the shoulder joint and they're responsible for keeping your shoulder in its socket. Now, when you've got a rotator cuff injury, the best way to treat it is a combination of strengthening the rotator cuff itself and the muscles that control the shoulder blade. And the horizontal shoulder raise is one of the best exercises to do that. The muscles that this exercise strengthens are the posterior deltoid, the middle and lower trapezius, both of your rhomboid muscles, and at least three out of four of your rotator cuff muscles as well. And if you do this exercise, just how I demonstrate it in the video, like we did with my client, you can also lengthen the muscles at the same time as strengthening them. So let me show you now how to do the exercise. It's not gonna be suitable for everyone, so do get checked out before you do it. And if it causes you any pain, then just avoid it. So here's how the sideline horizontal raise works. All you need is a stable surface like your bed and something like this. I've got a tiny little dumbbell here. This is two kilograms or four pounds because you really don't need very much weight. But if you don't have a dumbbell, a tin of beans or a bottle of wine, dare I say it, something like that will also work super well. So this is how it looks. You're gonna lie on your side with the side you're gonna work or the bad side being the one at the top holding on to the weight. Now, first thing we're gonna do, rest your head on the pillow, put your arm out like this so it's out in front of you and this is your start position. Now the exercise looks something like this. You're gonna open your arm upwards without rolling back, and when you get to the top, you're just gonna super slowly return back down. Now this is the important part, and we wanna take about five seconds to get from top to bottom. Now when you get to here, again, we're gonna go up nice and quick, and then down really nice and slow. Now if you watch me right now, I'm actually crossing over off the side of the bed, which gives me a much fuller range of motion, which should activate the muscles of the shoulder that much better. So we don't just stop at neutral, we're actually gonna drop past. Now only go down to here if it feels comfortable. For some people with a rotator cuff problem, this bit will be fine, but as they get past here, that becomes painful. If that's you, just stop here and then go straight back up again. But if you can, it is beneficial to come all the way down. Now it doesn't take many repetitions of this before you start to feel those really important muscles around your shoulder girdle and in your shoulder itself working super hard. Now one of the main muscles that's working here is your posterior deltoid at the back of the shoulder. I can feel mine working pretty hard, but also the deep rotator cuff muscles too. So we're getting a really good strength training workout for all the important muscles in the shoulder. Now in terms of how many repetitions to do, Somewhere between five and 15 as a starting point is great for rehab. If you can do more, that's great. If you can do more than 20 or 25, maybe find something a little bit heavier and then drop the reps back down. Now, what I would do is uh, I would do a set, maybe rest for two minutes, then do three of those total. And then once you've done that, that's a brilliant way to work all those important muscles and hopefully fix your shoulder as well. So that's the one exercise that fixed my patient's shoulder. I hope this video is able to help anyone out there who's got shoulder pain and they've given it a try and it feels better. Do make sure you come back and drop a comment and just let us know because we love to read your thoughts. And if you want to get more exercises to help you build stronger, more stable shoulders, I've got loads of ideas on how to do just that in my brand new book, 
Thriving Beyond 50, the 2024 edition is out now on Amazon. And if you scroll down below this video into the descriptions box, there's a link to help you pick up a copy. So thank you if you do that. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't already, and then we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks again and see you soon.